President Trump's revised travel ban for six Muslim-majority countries has been temporarily halted. The Trump administration is appealing, and Arizona and 12 other states are supporting the appeal. I visited the Center for Somali American United Council to talk to refugees who are impacted by the ban. At this center in Phoenix, Somalian refugees gather to discuss the struggles they face. These days, the talk is all about President Trump's travel ban. I hope that my husband and children who I left back home would come here. I feel incomplete. Amina Mohammed Aden is worried that the ban will make it harder to reunite with her family. Three kids are with her here. Two others are stuck in a refugee camp in Kenya with her husband. Because of the problems, lack of peace and war, I fled to neighboring Kenya and I was there for a while. And because of my medical conditions, the UN selected me to come to the U.S. She made it to the U.S., but Arizona wants a stricter vetting process and is joining 12 other states in backing the ban as it moves through the appeals court, citing, quote, serious flaws in the pre-existing vetting scheme for aliens residing abroad who wish to enter this country under visas or as refugees. City Councilwoman Kate Gallego works closely with refugees in the Phoenix area. She does not support the travel ban. I think it may come from a lack of understanding. Refugees are incredibly well vetted. As they wait for a court ruling, Aden and other refugees are living with uncertainty, wondering when or if their families will join them in the U.S. Because of the newly elected president who refuses refugees to come here, thousands of people now housed in refugee camps who wanted to start a new life here are now struck by hopelessness. The appeal is scheduled to be heard by judges in the Fourth Circuit Court on May 8th.